Game Changers is made possible by When I came home from American Idol, it was absolutely insane to see all of these strangers who have been supporting me since day one on the show just come out and celebrate with me and come up and talk to me and tell me how they've watched my season and they've been voting for me. Like that was such a surreal, crazy moment. I think that's why it's so important that I love sharing what I'm doing with the people in my hometown first before I kind of share it with the rest of the world is because they literally have been supporting me since day one. and. I couldn't thank them enough for that, so it's it's kind of a way to give back. Game Changer is about to be released super soon, and these past couple weeks I've just spent them preparing for the hometown release party that I'm holding at Apex Entertainment. I'm super excited to be performing Game Changer live at the party, as well as some other original songs, but it's not just about me and the song and the music. I kind of wanted to create a night for my fans to just go out and have some fun. And Apex was so perfect because they have like bumper cars, there's laser tag, there's bowling, there's so many things. So I'm super excited to give my fans kind of just a fun night out to enjoy themselves. And I really thought like the games and the fun of it all really meshed well with the vibes of Game Changer. 
changer. Working with Ashley, my event planner, and the team at Apex has been really awesome because everybody has just had such awesome creative ideas. So I've worked on a slew of events throughout my career. So I've done things from weddings to engagement parties to launch parties for different brands. But I am so excited about this launch party for Madison's new single. She's got a really young, fun audience and there's just so many different ways that we can have fun with this. This launch is just gonna be so much fun for her. Red carpet, awesome. like leading up to the photo area. I think yes. that would be awesome. Do you like red or do you want to do like gold or black to go with the theme? I kind of, I don't know. Do you think red would mash with any of the gold and blacks? I feel like red is sick. I kind of like red. Red's cool because it's classic, but the gold, since, since your color scheme is just gold, black, and white, yeah, yeah. I think having a gold carpet might. That actually might happen. I'd be still try it. Uh, okay. So we'll see what we can get. Okay. Then you have all the bar and where everybody can sit and eat. Well, want to play pool, you can play pool. Yeah. Are you good at pool? Not really. So Apex Entertainment, we have four locations currently, uh, Albany and Syracuse in New York State. And the original location is in Marlboro, Massachusetts, 40 minutes west of Boston. And our newest location is in Virginia Beach. All of the locations have bowling. They all have laser tag. They all have bumper cars, a huge arcade area. Some of the other locations from there have their own uh, individualized attractions as well. We always want to be a place to go, a part of the community. Quite honestly, the opportunity to work closely with Madison and the team about transforming some of the location to build a stage on the bowling lanes and to put this event forth was something that we certainly wanted to jump into. There's something here for absolutely everyone in the family. so. It just kind of seemed like a perfect fit. And as far as having a party atmosphere, there were so many different options within this huge space. You have a really beautiful cake coming from Piping Dreams. Piping Dreams. And it's gonna be phenomenal. So I think we should do like a whole dessert right there. A little layout. I think that would be good. A little, okay. So cool. after VIP is done, these doors are gonna open up to the bowling alley. And okay. then we're gonna figure out your transition from having the VIP moment to kind of going into your performance. Got you. Yeah. Okay, this yeah. is gonna be awesome. I think it's gonna be really I, good. It's gonna work out perfect. Apex just continuously solidified that they were the perfect choice. Most of Madison's audience is primarily a younger female group. We have some amazing mocktails coming in that are beautiful. We have options of cotton candy, there's pop rocks, so many beautiful, fun cocktails to really just elevate the event. Everybody likes the hard candy that they can stir their drink around in. Yeah, that's, that's fun. That's it cool. is, it yeah. is. Everybody seems to like that one the most, yep. but who, who doesn't like cotton candy on top of a drink? Madison has been an absolute dream to plan a party with because she's so creative and the feedback has just been phenomenal. So we thought that we want to keep it kind of classy. We don't want to do too many colors. We're thinking of kind of sticking with the album cover art. So mostly black and gold. I have a wonderful woman that does these incredible balloon arches, Adirondack balloons. And then we have a beautiful cake coming in from Piping Dreams right out of Albany. We have a shimmer wall coming, which is kind of the new thing. I feel like green Shimmery walls are out, shimmer walls are in. So we're gonna have one of those as a photo backdrop. We have a really cool, like a black and white tile floor that we're gonna have. So we're super excited. It's gonna be a really beautiful event. Um, I was just wondering a couple technical questions. Are we using wedges? Are we using um, in-ears? Cause I, I love to use both. So what sure. would your opinion be? Yeah, we can do that. So we'll give you some wireless in-ears. You already have your own buds, I so do. that's good. Yep. Um, we'll give you Texas headphones. So I'll have a mix right in front of you. We're really pumped to be doing this work for, for Madison because her vision is really cool. We have matching video content, we have matching color palettes, all of it's really cool. It's really inspiring to see an artist to take control of what she wants. I like seeing that and we don't see that often enough. I have this looping video that I think would look awesome behind me while I'm performing. Um, is there a way that I can use the projectors to like project it onto the screens while I'm singing and like make it look really, really cool? Yeah, yeah. I'll have to take a look at what they've got here, but I'm, okay. I'm sure we can make that work. Yeah. Okay, awesome. When I get a really clear vision like that and we get the color palette that she has for the song release, we can then match that with our equipment and we can make it one big dynamic show and kind of give it a sense of cohesion and make it as seamless as possible for everybody. And it's just gonna be a cool experience that way. That's the big challenge and I love doing stuff like that. Hi Jeff. Hey. Happy show day. Happy show day. I'm very excited. Um, I just wanted to double check a couple 
things. The projectors, do we are we confirmed to like be able to use those? Yeah, they're, they're good to go. Media awesome. guys are standing by, and all of it looks awesome. Perfect. So that video is going to roll behind me while I'm singing. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, also, in ears, are they all set to go? Yep, in ears are good. We have wedges for you too. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll be using both of those. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Um, oh, 3 p.m. is that still sound check? Yeah, uh, guys are loading in right now. We'll be good Perfect. for a three o'clock sound check. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm gonna go get changed into the outfit, and I will see you soon. All right. See you awesome. In a bit. Cool. Yep. just a few select VIPs that we had at our event. The moment that they got to spend with her and just share in her talent. We really wanted to add a little bit of glamour, a little bit of style to this event. I love the way the curls held up during the day. I know, they look great. I'm Thank glad you. they like settled in a good way. They did. I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the loose curl. Like, yeah, no, I think that looks, it looks so like business. Business. Thank Very you. business. <laughs> that's how I feel with this coat on. Like, I feel like a business woman. You should feel like a business woman. <laughs> I've learned that it's very important to um, choose the right stylist um, because their personality and how well they, they are there for you and like on it is really important to how I perform. They are the last person that you see before you go out on stage because they're there touching you up, getting you ready to look your best for the first moment that you walk out. If they're not on it or they don't really understand what's going on or it's chaotic, it kind of gets in your head and you're like, you just don't feel stable and it could really affect your show or your performance. Just do your thing. Put your all in, give it your best. Thank you. That's all anybody can ask for. Yes. I love the hat. I know, the hat is such so a good so touch. <laughs> the hat is so good. I feel like Alicia Keys. <laughs> yes. Alicia Keys should feel like you when she wears a hat next time. Oh my gosh. That's that's the way. She is the... Um, the trendsetter, the OG. The right. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. She said, like, Oh my God. Yeah. It's <laughs> totally. Cute. Oh my gosh. When I'm performing in front of that many people, I kind of will overthink too much to the point where I will like ruin it for myself. So that's why I have to just kind of try not to think and um, keep myself busy, keep my mind busy before I perform. And then once the song starts and you and I start singing, like my mind kind of naturally goes blank and goes into the song and the emotions of it. So that, you know, is not as hard, but like the anticipation of performing in front of people is horrible. It's so bad. Uh, it's the worst thing. <laughs> it's, it's hard. What I see in Madison is the work ethic it takes to do this. I mean, the reality is it's gonna take a lot of effort to build a career in the music business. It doesn't get handed to you. Madison, not only is a hard worker, but I believe she's in it for the right reasons. She truly loves to sing to people. She truly loves to, to be an entertainer. And I think that's often lost for artists, you know, recording music, writing music is the part we love to do. And we love to perform, but when artists really step on stage to give to the audience and make a moment happen, that's when good things start to build and people want to come back and see that show again and they talk about that show. It's a very selfless place for an artist. They're there to give with their music and their art. Madison represents that to the T. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out. Oh my gosh. Texts and acting like there's nothing to cry about when it turns out it won't work out, but we're not in the clouds and the city's crying now. You make me fall apart 
Dream Like I Do is a song that I actually wrote very recently. In the song I talk about, should I study science? Like, should I go to therapy? Like, what do I do to, to not feel this way anymore? Like, I'm still so attached on to this person. I love Dream Like I Do, it's, it's cool. I don't know if I should go and get some therapy Study science, read a book, do more philanthropy But I'm hoping there's something I haven't tried So maybe I can fall asleep at night yeah. I oh, no, don't know what we are anymore And I, I don't wanna leave But you know that you make me fall apart I leave you in the dark Baby, we don't need more feels like forever ago and I've just been kind of holding on to it because I don't want to release it unless it's perfectly what I envision it to be because it's been one of my favorite songs that I've ever written in my whole songwriting career so far. I feel like this song is is probably one of my most emotional songs that I've ever written. It's very difficult to be super vulnerable in front of anybody. I mean especially strangers who are just you know listening to your music but I think my main goal with music has always kind of been something bigger than just to be like an entertainer. I want to connect with other human beings. Like I want them to know like it's, you know, I'm going through what you're going through. We are all doing this together. And I love performing these slower songs because I feel like I can really dive into the emotion of them. And I, and I hope that people in the audience can relate to the lyrics and like maybe find you know, healing in their own way through listening to, to songs like that. See you. 
I don't care what her name is I just need to say this I've been trying not to let you under my skin Why can I let you go? Oh, it's alright Not gonna call you tonight, call you tonight So before I wrote Call You Tonight, I was just in this slump of feeling like I was writing too many sad, slow, depressing songs. And I needed to just write something that was more upbeat and kind of got my energy out. So Call You Tonight was kind of the happy middle for that. It's a it's a happy song when you hear it, but if you listen to like the lyrics, it's like a breakup song. It's sad. So it's like a sad, upbeat song. I think that's why it's so different than a lot of the other stuff I've written is because um, you wouldn't really expect it if you didn't really listen closely. But if you listen closely, like it's all those feelings of like frustration and anger when, you know, somebody that you love does you wrong, you know, it's kind of like that breakup type vibe and it really gets the crowd going. They can clap their hands along very easily, like it's a very easy tempo for them to follow along to. So it's really great for crowd interaction, but Call You Tonight was the song that I ended up writing when I was in that slump. I just, I really love it. <laughs> it's like one of my, it's one of my favorites. Cause you've been running around like we never existed. I don't wanna argue, so please keep your distance. No, I'll be fine. I have gone through so many things in my life and gotten through them because I've either listened to somebody else's song or sang along to them singing it. Being able to connect to a song for me has always kind of been a way of therapy actually because when I can really put myself into um, a song, for some reason it just feels like I can feel myself feeling better. Music has always just been so therapeutic for me so to be able to like interact with it and to sing you know, to it um, is, has been, you know, my, my way out for a long time. So, um, you know, I just hope people kind of find that connection in my music as well. Throw out the dice, don't play it safe Cause I'll make my own rules and now there's nothing left to break I'll be the one to run the game Don't need someone to tell me how to play I don't want you off, but I'ma put you in your place. Ain't seen nothing like this before. I'm not another pretty face, baby. I'm not just a player. I'm a king maker. One step ahead, you're gonna need someone to save you when you're up against danger. I don't mean to break you, but I can't change it. I know your type Your moves are so predictable But wait till you see mine Not gonna lie Kinda like it I'll take you on when the pressure is high Baby, I'm not just a player I'm a king maker One step ahead You're gonna need someone to save you
just a player I'm a kingmaker One step ahead You're gonna need someone to save you When you're up against the danger I don't mean to break you 